Hi everybody, Doug Lindsay here. Um, been a couple weeks since I've made a video. Uh, just haven't felt like making them. I wanted to, but I uh, just didn't get around to it. I've been too busy reading. Um, I just wanted to give you an update on my thinking and where I'm at now. The more I've processed this information of magnetism and consciousness, I am 100% convinced consciousness is magnetism period. Okay? Everywhere you look, you see magnetism. Now, I'm going to roughly, for those who haven't seen any videos of mine, I'm going to explain everything. It, this may be an hour video. I don't know. Hopefully not, because nobody wants to watch an hour video. But I'm going to show you. This is on page 78. On page 78 of Dr. Pollock's The Fourth Phase of Water. As you can see, this shaded area right here where my finger is, that's a hydrophilic material, just like a membrane that surrounds a cell. Well, what this does is it separates the water, the molecule. It separates the oxygen molecule, which is negative, is attracted to the hydrophilic material. The positive hydrogen atom is pushed away, which creates a negative and a positive, which is electricity, current. A magnetic field. It would have a magnetic field around it. Now, if you can follow me just for a second. Now, you see the science of my idea of how this is possible. Now, if you, if you use your imagination here, that's the best way I can say that that will help you understand what I'm talking about. Every cell in your body, every single cell in your body is an exact replica of that picture of water that I just showed you that separated the H2O molecule into negative and positive. The negative oxygen atom and the positive hydrogen atom. That creates a battery, current, electricity, i.e. a magnetic field. Now, every cell in your body is identical to that experiment. It has a membrane that surrounds the cell and the cell has water in it. So, it's got current in every single cell in your body. Now, imagine the magnetic field around that cell because it has current. It has a magnetic field. Magnets. Now, that magnetic field is connected to every other cell in your body through the magnetic field. The exact same magnet, magnetic field. Every cell knows what every other cell is doing at all times. They're all connected. How? By the magnetic field. The magnetic field is consciousness. Now, I've said this before, but um, at first I thought maybe that the consciousness may be in the water because I thought memory might be in the water. But I read a book on, on seeds, and uh, what I learned was um, that if you take all of the water out of a seed, metabolism ceases to exist. So basically, the seed dies. But if you insert water back into the seed, miraculously, the seed has memory and it remembers the old structure so as soon as water gets back in it it goes back into its old form and structure its old shape <laughs> that's incredible that tells me point blank that it has to be the magnetic field is consciousness because you could put different water back into that seed and the memory would still be there of the old structure. That's because the magnetic field. 
Well, that is just like our consciousness. 100%. Consciousness is the magnetic field. Now, I've got several different examples that I'm going to describe real quick. And uh, you're going you're gonna to be, be like, well, well yeah, that's basic. I, and I knew that. Well, most people know the basics. They just didn't put the pieces of the puzzle together. I did. And as soon as I seen that picture from Dr. Pollock's book, when I read The Fourth Phase of Water, I seen immediately that it was consciousness. It's kind of funny because he had just talked a little bit earlier in the book about how when he was describing um, the experiment to some his students, he said one of the kids in his class raised his hand and he said, because he asked a question about what could make this more powerful. And that some kid's like, wow raised his hand real quick and he said, life. Dr. Pollock was like, wow, great, great example. We like how this guy thinks. They invited this guy to their lab to help them think. Hmm, pretty cool. So my point was, when I saw that diagram of the water being current, when the, the H2O molecules separated, I didn't see light. I already knew light. I seen consciousness. So I'm sure Dr. Pollock would have been happy to have me in his laboratory, too. <laughs> oh, I am going to be eating during this video, too. Sorry. I just exercised. Um, I, for those of you who don't know, I'm on a plant-based diet. Um, I walk an hour on the treadmill every day at three and, a half, three and a half miles per hour. And then I work on the Nautilus machines every single muscle in my body. Every single day. My blood, I just checked my blood pressure because uh, I had a, I scratched my eye somehow the other day. I don't know how I did it, but uh, I had to go to Iowa City to the VA and have the opth ophthalmologist look at my eye because I scratched it. And when they put the vasodilator in my eye so they could magnify and look into my eye to see if it was scratched, um, the vasodilator made me pass out. I was passed out for two minutes. When I woke up, there was like eight doctors around me. Are you kidding me? I was freaking out. I knew I was passing out because I'd passed out one other time in my life a long time ago. And it felt the exact same way. But it actually it kind of felt like you, you're dying. And you know, I knew that you can't fight it. So I just said, fuck it. And I just went with it and passed out or died, whichever would have happened. I thought, I thought I was dying. And you know what's weird is uh, I wasn't upset or at all. I was kind of like, okay, I'm cool with that because I've done everything. I've lived large my whole fucking life, every fucking day, period. I have. It's, it's great. I love living. Hopefully I get to live again. I'm sure I will. Um, but that's here nor there. But anyway... Um, it was funny because after I after I came out of the waking up from passing out, the first thing I said, I said, fuck it. I got an audience of eight fucking doctors. <laughs> Boom, I went for the juggler, man. I said, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but I got a little bit of schizophrenia. And I was like, uh, but I figured out consciousness. And I figured out how the first life on earth was formed. And I figured out how the universe was built. And I figured out how gravity isn't real but magnetism is how it holds the galaxies together and uh it goes on and on so i had these doctors here so i've had five minutes i just steamrolled everything off the top of my tongue and everybody's freaking out it's like never thought of that before that makes sense so your every cell would be connected through the magnetic field i'm like yeah i know good idea huh it's like yeah i'm so dumb. that's pretty fucking good one person said, because I, and then I told him also that I drink magnetized water. And the, the one person said, you know, my dad talked about that for years. He swore by it, but nobody ever listened to him. Well, anyway, I just threw that in. That's a tidbit. But anyway, um, magnetism is consciousness. Has to be. No other better definition or explanation. I thought of them all. I've, 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 I love all of the different ideas, uh, integrated information theory, like it, good potential, I like it, it makes sense, uh, 
Orc OR, Orchestrated Objective Reduction by Hammeroff and Penrose. Love that. Love the idea of a quantum system in the microtubules. Love that idea. I wish that was true. But uh, panpsychism, all them kinds of different ideas. Uh, at this point, it's looking like the panpsychists are, are pretty damn close to being on the money. Just because magnetism. Magnetism is everywhere. Now, let me just go back. Let me just take a bite here real quick. God, I don't want my food to get old. Um, mm, this is the best food on earth. It's beautiful. It's got the essential fatty acids. I'm eating an avocado and I take a DHA and e ESA or something, something like that for the essential fatty acids. For those of you who have schizophrenia, that is an absolute must. Start eating essential fatty acids immediately. You will fix yourself. Believe me. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> You're still going to be a little crazy because you have the schizophrenic gene. Don't worry about it. But you won't be psychotic. That's what I figured out. And I'll tell you how to fix yourself on that. I figured that out too. I'm proof. I was literally the craziest human being on earth in 2013, in 2014. Literally. I wrote a book about it. It's called Mind Hack. It's on Amazon Books. Read the book. It'll blow your fucking mind. And compare that mental state to my thinking now. And you'll see. Yeah, he's still odd and a little eccentric and weird, whatever. Yeah. That's because I'm, I have the schizophrenic gene. But I, I'm not in psychosis. And I haven't been for a while. I'm just crazy. But I'm crazy in a good way. Exactly like... What this guy talks about. The Madness of Adam and Eve. By David Horbin. He says... Uh, this is how schizophrenia shaped humanity. You have got to read this book. Do yourself some justice. You're going to be astonished. I'm reading it now. I'm almost done. I got a lot of books to read. I, I still haven't read my cell book. I can't wait to read the book on cells. I'm no biologist. I don't know anything about cells other than what I Google and what I remember from biology for a non-biology major back in college, back in 1994. Which ain't a whole lot. But anyhow, I'm going to start at the very beginning. That way anybody can watch this video and understand exactly how I came up with this idea of magnetism being our consciousness. And why it has to be. It makes 100% sense. Now... Now, we, we, this is where you need to use your imagination. Seriously. For those people who uh, say you shouldn't lift weights every single day. For those who say you shouldn't lift weights every single day, every single muscle, they don't know what they're talking about. Look at that. I weighed 216 pounds on January 1st. I weighed 135, day, 135 pounds two days 
August 20th, 2017. I lost 81 pounds. My muscle was literally flimsy. You could squish, you could squishy. No form at all. Three weeks ago, I just started lifting weights. Three weeks ago. Look at that. You can see the definition already forming from being toned. I lift, I lift all every muscle in my body. You can tell in my, my arms. See the shape in there? I lift every single muscle. Every single day. My shoulders, my traps, my back, chest, you name it. Every day. I just For those that are schizophrenic, that's what you want to do. You want to exercise every muscle every single day. And you want to exercise at least a cardio every, an hour every day. I'm getting ready to start implementing two workouts a day. Just because I can. And I want to. I want to make my body even better. But anyway, let me tell you just real quick. When I was at the VA, um, was it yesterday? No, it would have been Friday. Um, on Friday, when they put that vasodilator in my eye and I passed out, um, my blood pressure dropped to like 40 over 30. They were scared. But the one thing they couldn't understand was my pulse remained at 68 to 72 beats per minute, even though my blood pressure was so low. They didn't understand it. <laughs> I'm like, no, you won't, because number one, My aunt's going to be driving me to the eye doctor tomorrow. That's what that's about. But anyway, what I was going to say is, um, after I came, after my blood pressure rose, the doctor wanted to complete continue so she could finish my eye. She wanted to put a contact lens on it because it was great. She could see the scratch. And uh, anyhow, they, she just put a clear, then she, this time she just put a regular liquid in my eye, like a an eye drop of some sort that triggered me to almost pass out again it was weird But anyway, that uh, that just regular eye drop triggered me to almost pass out again. So if the doctor, the, there were still three doctors in there, and uh, one of them just laid me back real quick. He go, I'm gonna lay you back, and maybe that'll help. Worked perfect. I laid back, turned the lights off, let me relax for about 20 or 30 minutes. Doctor came back in, did the procedure while I was laying down, put the cap on and everything, so it worked out perfect. But uh, one of the doctors really was looking into my eye because she was saying that the epithelial cells looked like they were uh, clumping behind my cornea. I don't know what that means, but uh, it's curious. It's interesting. But anyway, enough of that. Sorry, I got sidetracked. But um, remember I said, use your, this is when you... This is when you use your imagination. I want you to think about nothing. You need to imagine absolutely nothing. Think about that for a second. Seriously. Absolutely nothing. Zero. All right. Hopefully... 
Hopefully you took a couple of seconds and thought about what nothing is. Because if you think about nothing, use your imagination here. Imagine before anything. Try to imagine before anything ever existed. Now, if you think about nothing, nothing is the only logical explanation of something that could literally exist forever. Think about it. Nothing has existed forever. Always. Always has. Forever. There has always been a nothing. Now, if you realize how nothing has existed forever, nothing is also everywhere. But that's not really important. The key here is for your imagination to start seeing the picture is nothing is so unstable it does this it vibrates it moves which creates a magnetic field so you got pure energy that's what nothing is pure energy which would create a magnetic field nothing is everything now, I've established that nothing really is a magnetic field just because of the mo motion. Think about it. Movement itself would have created the magnetic field immediately. And nothing has existed forever. Pure energy. Vibrating magnetic field everywhere so i've established what nothing is now some people may call nothing that entity as god you can call it whatever you want don't matter to me i don't care it doesn't matter to me because i figured it i know the truth <laughs> and you'll be pretty fucking happy when you figure it out too but anyway um now, we've just learned that nothing has existed forever, is everywhere, unending energy, and it has a magnetic field, intelligence. That's what I'm saying. Magnetic imagination. It's pure intelligence. Now, imagine. It's, it's hard telling how many universes have been created. It's hard telling. There may not even be. We may be the first. I doubt it. I can't see that. I can't even imagine that. You're talking forever has been forever. There's probably been Googles upon 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 Googles of universe. Forever. Probably. I don't know. But I will say this. Just like the standard model predicts, a quantum fluctuation would have occurred from nothing. But nothing is everything. Nothing is a magnetic field of energy. Period. That spit out a quantum fluctuation, magnetism, which created a magnetic bubble. And that bubble was so small and so dense, just like the standard model, 
predict. But it was a magnetic bubble. And what did that magnetic bubble do? It repelled itself. Exponentially. Just like inflation. But unlike inflation, which had to be invented, the concept had to be invented, this idea of magnetism doesn't need to be invented. It's a natural flow of reality. Nothing vibrates. It's pure energy. It has a magnetic field. Think about it. Use your imagination if you haven't seen the picture yet. Now, we have the universe sparking into existence from a quantum fluctuation from nothing, just like the standard model says. Exponentially expanding faster than the speed of light. Magnetism is first. Light came later. One example, just to put this into perspective, because I never thought of it like this, but I heard it the other day. If you take a piece of cardboard or a rock or some other material and shine light through it, light don't go through it. It's too big. The particle will. It'll go through your hand. But you put it through a you can't won't go through a book or lead or shit like that. Magnetism goes through everything. Hmm, think about it. But anyway, I got distracted a little bit. I haven't had a time to think about that whole concept of the, the magnetism actually going through everything, which it does, but and light doesn't. So that means light's a bigger particle than magnetism because it comes from magnetism. But, so, as the universe expanded, eventually, um, uh, the universe slowed down so matter could start forming, of course, and then it, it started expanding again according to the standard model. But what I'm saying is, as matter formed, it would have been magnetism that coalesced everything together to form planets and suns, stars, etc. And galaxies, magnetism hold, holds the galaxies together. And the space in between the magnet, the, the the galaxies, well, they're being spread away by the repulsive magnetism. It's pushing away. It's also holding. So it got rid of inflation. No need for inflation because magnetism does that by its nature. Got rid of gravity because magnetism attracts and holds things just like the idea of Gravity claims no need for gravity. Magnetism does that too. So we've got the startup. We've got nothing be being shown to be a magnet or a magne magnetic field. It's a magnet. It created a magnetic bubble universe. All the galaxies are held together by magnetism. Hubble telescope verifies this. Because when scientists look out into space to verify the observation of gravity, they do not see gravity. They do see magnetism holding the galaxies together. They were surprised. They still haven't put the pieces together. I don't know why. It's strange. But anyway, they haven't. The Earth has a magnetic field. Now, I'm going to talk about the first cell on Earth. Well... Imagine the Earth already being formed, water moving, going, flowing across the Earth, the wind blowing the water. What would that do? It would create tiny bubbles. Tiny bubbles. Those bubbles wouldn't hold shape, but for a second, half a second, however long the bubble would hold before um, it dissipated back into the bulk water. However long. It was brief. Until evolution kicked into gear. When I'm talking evolution, I'm talking intelligence. 
magnetism kicked in and encircled the water bubble with a lipid, a hydrophilic membrane. Well, we know exactly what that does. It does that. That hydrophilic material, it separates the negative oxygen atom and the positive hydrogen atom in the H2O molecule, which creates current, a magnetic field. So here we have the first cell on Earth with current in its cell. This is pre-life cell potential. Then the first form of life evolved because it had the self-contained battery current magnetic field surrounding it. Intelligence. Consciousness. Every single cell has consciousness. Period. Starting with the first cell of life. I've just showed you the example of current being created by separating the H2O molecule. That's exactly what the lipid hydrophilic material would do inside the bubble. It would create a positive and negative charge. The negative charge would be attracted to the membrane. The positive would be pushed away. creating current, a magnetic field, intelligence. It's pretty simple if you think about it. By now I'm assuming your imagination is on fire if you are following what I'm talking about. So now <clears throat> I've explained what nothing is, how the beginning of the universe happened, how there's no need for inflation because magnetism is repulsive, I talked about how the galaxies clumped together and were made by magnetism, attracting it together. No need for gravity. I talked about Earth having a gravitational field. I talked about how the first cells on life would have formed by a lipid wrapping around a water bubble in the ocean, which would have created the potential for first cell life by creating current inside of the new membrane of the potential cell life by creating a positive and negative charge thereby creating a magnetic field which is pure intelligence consciousness and then as in that evolved into everything that ever existed Every single cell has consciousness, magnetism, same thing. So now we see how first life started. Now I'm going to bring it to human beings real quick. So if you take this same picture, think about it. Current magnetic field would surround it. Every cell in your body has that exact same process inside of your cell. Every single cell has current and it's connected to every other cell. It's connected by to every other cell through the magnetic field. You'd only have one magnetic field and every cell would be connected to it. Your consciousness. Think about it makes perfect sense. Now, same case with trees. Trees, their cells made out of the same material. Same with plants. It's amazing. Same with animals. Every creature. And human being. So, what, like I said, what triggered me was when I, when I read that book on seeds. 
and when I seen that uh, the seed remembered its old structure once a new set of water was added into the depleted watered uh, seed so the seed remembered its old structure and form once new water was added into it which would have created a magnetic field it's incredible but let me but let's okay so let's take it one other step further I'm about ready to wrap this up here in just a couple minutes um, so we see how consciousness is the magnetism and it's everywhere now I also was just monkeying around. I, st I figured this out back in 2012. But it took me a while to put all the pieces together because I had a psychotic episode. So I, I've been out of the game for about three years, three and a half years. Just got back in a couple weeks ago. Started thinking immediately. Figured it out. You can, you can see my old videos. Watch my old videos where I was just starting to talk about what I was going to figure out. Well, I did and it didn't take me long. I didn't think it would. I was out of the game for a while, but I had it nailed back in 2012, and I drew a picture about it, a magnetic universe. <laughs> Everybody thought I was crazy. They still do. They don't believe me, but I have proof. Hubble Telescope sees, gra sees magnetism holding the galaxy together. Fact. Every vital piece of equipment of technology has a magnet in it, period. Everyone. Uh, it's incredible. I don't believe, I can't, I just, for, for the life of me, can't figure out why the scientists didn't figure this out. They didn't, they don't understand nature, evidently. I didn't either. That's why I read books on nature. That's the first thing I did. That's the very first thing I did once my mind got clear from being in a psychosis is I read the basics in life because I already knew everything else that everybody else knows, the basic shit about everything. I already knew all that. As good as everybody else does. I'm not an expert, don't have to be. But what I didn't know was the basics. You know, that everybody assumes that we all should know that we don't. Like nutrition, plants, trees, and water, and seeds. That alone helped trigger my mind into recognizing consciousness as soon as I seen it in that picture in Dr. Pollock's book. But uh, oh, one other interesting thing is uh, I was I just figured I'd Google. Um, does, does a magnetic field affect sound? <laughs> to my surprise, which I really wasn't really surprised, but I figured it was true. But they said scientists were surprised in 2015 to discover that uh, magnetic fields could affect heat and sound. I figured that out in 2012. Um, but that's okay. That's just more evidence to my claim that consciousness is the magneti magnetic field. Magnetism. Just adds to it. Everything adds to exactly what I'm saying. It's incredible. Uh, but anyway, let me give you a... Let me give you a... A quick rundown on this book of why I think it's really important for everybody to read it. It's The Madness of Adam and Eve. Um, what this guy is claiming in his theory, and it makes 100% sense, is that uh, if, and, he, and he looks at this historical record, and all the top scientists, artists, religious folks, political leaders around the world, every single one of them has a, at least first, second, or third generation schizophrenic gene in their genetic history. 
So what he's claiming is that the first human beings on Earth, from the pre-humans, the hominids, Homo erectus and ne uh, Neanderthal, was uh, the first human being would have been a schizophrenic genetic mutation. Very interesting concept. Believe me, you may sound be skeptical at this point since I just am making this claim, but believe me, you read this book, you will see the writing on the walls. It makes 100% percent uh, sense. But anyway, enough of that. I just wanted to make sure I threw that in there because it's really important because I do have schizophrenia. So if anybody's going to figure this out, it's going to be somebody with schizophrenia. I got lucky though. I didn't develop schizophrenia until I was like 44. So I lived my whole fucking life. I lived large. I partied hard, lived hard. Um, you fucking name it, I did it. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to do. Uh, it's called experience. Um, so anyhow, I began developing schizophrenia at 44 years old. So I'd already been to college and worked 20 years at a job and did five years active duty in the military. And already, already did a career. Then I became psychotic. Literally, it was bad. It was bad. swam across the river, thought I had telepathy, thought UFOs were going to pick me up, all kinds of crazy shit. It was weird. It's like being in a different dimension. Um, but anyhow, I'm feeling better now. And since then, I have been working my ass off to figure out the hardest problems in reality. I don't know when I'm going to get sick again. I don't know. I'm eating healthy. I'm exercising. I don't think I'm going to have psychotic episodes again. I don't know. I could have. I'm not taking medicine. This I'm doing my own treatment. And guess what? It's better than anything the VA has had me do since I became uh, schizophrenic. I figured it out. And I'll tell you how. Do yourself a favor and read this book. It's not very long. It's just a skinny pamphlet book, like about 55 pages. It's called Orthomolecular Treatment for Schizophrenia, Megavitamin Supplements, and Nutritional Strategies for Healing and Recovery. This, these, this information is all coming from the 1930s, 40s, and 50s good quality information, non-pharmaceutical, like water fasting, eating but B3 vitamins, essential fatty acids that caused the first case of schizophrenia, the essential fatty acids. They weren't eating enough. They were, eating, they were getting the wrong fatty acids. It caused a genetic mutation, schizophrenia. I'm putting all the pieces together, people. Don't worry. I'm fucking going to war against everything. I'm going to figure out as much as I humanly can. I don't know how long I'm going to be here. I almost died the other day. Even though I, I just passed out. But I'm telling you what, man. I, literally, I know. I almost died. The only thing that saved me was my heartbeat is so fucking strong because I work out every single fucking day, every single muscle. And I walk an hour a day. And I eat a plant-based diet of nothing but healthy, nutritious food. And I drink three 30-ounce bottles of magnetized, purified water every single day. Believe me, it is working. So, I think I have explained everything about magnetism that I've processed up to this point. I'm still thinking. More stuff will come. I've got a couple books that I haven't read yet that are just spectacular. I can't wait to figure out. I can't imagine what kind of new thoughts I'm going to have after I read these ideas and give me an even different perspective. 
I'm all about different perspectives now. And I don't believe anything anybody says until I verify it. Because everything that we know is just somebody else's ideas that has not been verified. We don't even know anything about water. And anybody that says they do is lying. No, they don't. I just, I'm reading a book now. I'm, 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 I've learned more about water in this book than I've ever, ever learned in my entire life. And not only that, you got to realize this guy, this guy rediscovered electricity in water. He rediscovered it from the 1960s. They, it, somebody had discovered it, but it just got lost in paperwork because nobody believed him. And, the, and if you think about it, this guy's book was in 2013. I haven't heard any fucking major announcements about somebody making fucking water batteries or water electricity. That's weird. It's proven. That isn't complicated. That is simple, just like nature intended. Well, anyway, I think I've talked about what nothing is. Pure energy would vibrate a magnetic field. Intelligence. How could anybody say it's not? That don't even make any sense. You have to be naive to say this is not intelligence. Period. I don't care who you are. You're denying reality. But anyhow, so I talked about nothing, how nothing created the universe with a quantum fluctuation of magnetism. And I talked about how the galaxies are held together by magnetism, how the Earth has a magnetic field, how the first life force was created on Earth as a water bubble wrapped in a lipid, which created the first cell battery for cell potential for life. I figured it out. That's a fact. Nobody's done that. You ain't never heard anybody say this before. No, you haven't. Never. That is life. That's how life was created. And when the magnetic field was around the cell and the membrane, the lipid, you had consciousness. And it transferred into all living beings, including plants, trees, creatures in the water, above the water, on the land. And it must have been in seeds, as shown um, by seeds remembering former structure after metabolism has ended because of no water in the, in the seed. And then when new seed water is re-added, the memory returns and it knows the old structure. It's consciousness. It's magnetism. Then I find out that uh, magnetism affects sound and heat. Magnetism is in every device that we use, basically. Hmm. Interesting. I think I am right. And I believe I will be confirmed when science measures it. It's there. Well, anyway, this is it. Um, i got to finish my food. And uh, I haven't even talked about my three-day magnetized water fast. I'll, I'll get around to it. I've just been really busy reading. Well, anyway, uh, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. This is uh, August 20th, 2017. Have a good day.